Hi guys, this is Maria and today I'm going to share some tips how to care for and propagate Crisula perforata, popularly known as string of buttons. You can recognize Crisula string of buttons by seeing a stacked formation of leaves that alternate position like you can see here. Um, they have reddish uh, pinkish edging on the leaves during the time that they're outside on the bright uh, sun. Right now they're mostly green because they're inside. Uh, they have uh, relatively uh, big leaves compared to Crisula baby's necklace, for example. Uh, they tend to branch out and uh, look very nice in hanging baskets. Compared to other Crisulas, uh, like Crisula Springtime or Crisula Buddha's Temple, that are a little bit more sensitive and I had to add some pumice into their soil mix, uh, I have noticed that Crisula perforata is not too picky. Of course, it needs, like other succulents, good draining soil. So I would recommend you mix two-thirds of cactus uh, soil mix that you can find at Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart. I use miracle Grow brand, uh, mixed with one-third of perlite. When it comes to watering, just like other succulents, a Crisula perforata doesn't like to sit in water. Related to watering, it's important to know when, what is the growing season of this plant. Crisula perforata is a winter grower, so you need to continue watering it during the winter, especially if you, like me, keep the plants in the plant room where humidity level is about 20%, temperature is in 70s. So I water it at least once a week uh, during the winter time. Uh, during the summertime, you can continue watering as well. Make sure that it's dry between waterings. During the summertime, I would recommend decreasing the watering because it's a, a time of dormancy. And a lot of times mm, it's more humid outside, so you, they don't need as much water. string of buttons in Joey's full sun, but it may do just fine in partial shade. Actually, uh, during the summertime, if you keep your plants like I do uh, in south facing uh, side of the house, uh, where there is a lot of sun during the whole uh, day, morning as well as afternoon, it would be good to provide some shade for this plant because it may look a little sad. Uh, don't worry, it's not that. If you notice that it has really pale yellow leaves, it can be during the summertime if you're keeping it on full sun through whole day. Common pests that affect uh, string of buttons are mealybugs and aphids. Uh, uh, when I got this plant, I didn't have much experience dealing with mealybugs, so I was just using water to clean them off, and this plant survived. In the last year, with more experience, and um, mealybugs have reappeared, and I have used uh, alcohol that you can buy it in grocery stores. Make, make sure it's the one in 70%, uh, not the one that's over 90% because then you have to mix it with the water. Or I have used uh, insect soap that I got from Lowe's that was about $4. Make sure whether you spray with alcohol or with soap to remove the plant from the full sun so that you don't get uh, sunburn or damaged leaves. Like many other Crisulas, don't enjoy temperatures that are really low, like in 30s and 40s. So probably during the winter time, uh, it's ideal to stay in 50s uh, during the summertime they probably uh, prefer milder temperatures not 90s and hundreds but more like 70s uh, but they will survive through some of those periods of time uh, that temperatures are a little bit lower or a little bit higher than their ideal temperatures um, it's not recommended to repot it very often but I had to repot it twice already during the two years that I have owned it because each time the the roots have filled the pot and uh, uh, this plant is pretty fast growing. So this is the pot size uh, that I bought this plant in a year and nine months ago approximately, so not quite two years old. And as I said, fast grower, so this is all here, this half is a winter growth. Most of it grew during the last few months. Crisula perforata may uh, bloom in a mid to late spring. Uh, the, the flowers are not very exciting and you can cut them off while they're still blooming or just after they have finished blooming. You can propagate Crisula perforata by uh, dividing it uh, when it gets too big for one pot or by taking uh, cuttings. 
The best way to take cuttings is to make sure that they are not too long and that you don't have a very woody and uh, dark stem like here because they will have difficulty rooting. The stem needs to be more green, soft, uh, the leaves need to be juicy and fleshy and they will root easier. This plant I noticed is rooting a little bit slower so be patient. Uh, here are some of the cuttings that I took about two months ago and they have successfully rooted. You can't move them, they're very firm in the ground. I think I rooted five of them. Uh, one way to easy take a cutting is to find a cutting that um, has already produced some roots and cut right below the, the little roots that have grown and after it callous, uh, after maybe 24 hours, you can place it in the soil. If they don't have any roots, make sure to spray the soil every few days with a little bit of water to stimulate the root growth. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't have any Crusula perforata, I would highly recommend you to get one. They're easy to replace if you do lose one. And they are very easy to care and look fabulous. <music>